Hot hands are heat resistant silicone gloves that you can use to handle hot things in the kitchen. But do they really work? That's what I'm gonna find out in this review of Hot Hands. Directions for hot hands are minuscule. Look at that, that's all they are. Just says one size fits all, and basically test an area before you use it to make sure it's not too hot. So in the advertising, you see a person reaching into a pot of boiling water with hot hands on, and they're able to handle the heat. I wanted to put that to the test and see how long hot hands could last underwater before they get too hot. And I found out it wasn't very long. The first demonstration is putting a hot hands glove into a pot of boiling water, which I'm gonna do now, and I'm gonna see how long my hand will last before it starts getting hot. So here we go. Starting to feel warm. Starting to feel warm. Oh, it's starting to feel warm. Oh, it's starting to feel warm. Ah! Ha, 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 ha! And it's still warm. Well, it lasts for a few seconds, but after you pull your glove out, it stays hot from the hot water on there, so... Uh, I wouldn't suggest doing that. That would be probably a bad idea. But don't put it in boiling water for very long. Now, let me try a different one. If you're going to just reach in there for a second, say you're going to reach in, turn something, reach in, turn something, you can probably get away with it, but stick it in there for an extended period of time, that's a really bad idea. See, it's still warm. I can feel the warm water on the, on the glove, so... I mean, it does work for a few seconds, but not beyond that. I don't know if you can see that or not, but my finger is now red. Finger's a little bit red right there from the hot hands in the boiling water. Kind of funny, but at the moment, it wasn't so funny. All right, the next test, um, I'm going to put this pan of french fries into the oven set to 420 degrees. I set it at 420 because the gloves say that they are able to withstand up to 425, so I went just below that, just so someone can't say, well, you're right at the limit. So at 420, that's five degrees under the limit. I'm gonna put a pan in there. I'm also gonna put this ceramic pan in there as well. And then I'm gonna take them out with one hot hands glove and this old pot holder I've been using for years, it's never let me down. I'm gonna hold the pans with one hand with the pot holder, one hand the hot hands, and see which one lasts longer. So here we go. And now we wait. All right, we're at the halfway mark right now. I think I'm gonna try what they do in the commercial, which is flip the french fries with the hot hands. Well, it's not, it's not really easy to grab. I mean, I can, I'm kind of moving them around, but it's kind of hard to flip them. Well, my hand didn't get too hot. It was a little bit warm. Flipping them was a little weird because I didn't feel like I had the dexterity to really actually flip them. I was just kind of moving them around. But it did keep my hand uh, cool enough to perform that action. I'm not sure if the action was very dexterous. So I think that as far as the french fry flipping test goes, it did all right. It's also not a bad alternative if you want to take something from the stove or the oven to the table or the counter, because in those cases it performs about as well as oven mitts or a pot holder. All right, so this, for this first test, I'm gonna take the french fry pan out of the oven with both hot hands, and I'm gonna walk it over to the counter like anybody else would do and see if it can just perform well in that kind of real world, real world test. Okay. Okay. That was easy enough, no problem. The one that touched the 
grill. The grate actually was a little bit warmer than the one that didn't. Now, for my second test, I'm gonna take the hot hands and this very old and used pot holder. And I'm gonna hold them both in the bottom and see which one gets warmer first. They're both getting warm. It's a pretty close match right now. I would say it's it's pretty even. The hot hands may be getting a little bit warmer. Hot hands is getting warmer. Yeah, the hot hands. Hot hands get hot. <laughs> hot hands getting. Uh, it's definitely hot hands right now. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> well, see, the hot hands are still hot. The pot holder is not that hot. This is still hot, and it's against my hand right now. Uh, it was pretty close for a while. I think that if you were carrying that from the oven to the table, it probably wouldn't have been much different than a pot holder. But for extended use, even my hand is like sweating now from pulling it out of there. So, I don't know. It's still hard to beat an old fashioned pot holder. So I found flipping items a little bit awkward. It was hard for me to get my fingers underneath them in order to pick them up and flip them. So I had to use two gloves or I had to grasp them, which tended to squish them a little bit. All right, it's time for the flipping test on a grilled cheese sandwich. Let's see how it goes. Now, I'm not sure I'm gonna have a dexterity to even lift that. I mean, cause, let me see here. I don't wanna burn this sandwich. All right. Let's try it this way. Well, I couldn't even lift it with one hand because it was so, these fingers are so thick I couldn't get underneath it. But with two hands, I was able to flip the grilled cheese successfully. I'm not sure that was easier than just using a spatula, but I mean, I did get it to work. So I guess it gets passing grade for that. There's another product uh, for sale in stores called Hot Hands, and it is a pack that is a hand warmer. So if those hot hands make your hands warmer, and these hot hands make your hands cooler, shouldn't they be called cool hands? So for my next test, I'm gonna try flipping something with a little bit thicker texture. The grilled cheese was kind of soft, I was afraid I was gonna kind of smash it. So I have some hamburgers here, I'm gonna try flipping them with the hot hands. There you go. I mean, so it does work. It's still a little bit awkward to pick up things because it's so thick, but I mean, it does work. I think on a grill where you have the ability to stick your fingers below the object, you probably have a better chance of grabbing it. And on this flat grill, I couldn't really get underneath it without kind of like bending it. So picking it up might be awkward depending on your, on your cooking surface. I think hot hands is good when you want to pick up something that's wet or greasy and want to move it into the sink because they are uh, water resistant. I did find a good use for hot hands and that is when you have a hot surface you want to go wash because these are waterproof, you can go right into the sink uh, with the hot item in your hands like this. See this is a hot item. Right to the sink, don't have to worry about grease. and then. You can wash it now without having get, gotten your uh, pot holders uh, wet. There was actually a point where I was wearing two hot hands and both of them had grease in them and I actually could not get them off. They're kind of greasy and I'm having a hard time actually getting them off of my hands. Look. So I might need to ask someone to help, for help to get these off. So I think that hot hands is pretty good when you want to pick something up and move it from the oven to the counter or the table. In those cases it works pretty well. But as far as handling things on a hot stove or in the oven, I don't think they really work any better than a spatula or a pot holder. It seems to me like hot hands is trying to solve a problem that doesn't really exist. I mean I know that some people use them and enjoy them, but to me they don't seem better than an old-fashioned spatula and pot holder. So what do you think about hot hands? Tell me what you think in the comments below. And if you like this video, I would appreciate a subscribe so I can continue to bring you ASEAN TV product reviews in the future. Until next time, this is James White with Freakin' Reviews. Thank you.